What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers. I'm showing you MSI's Click BIOS on their Z170A Gaming M5 motherboard. Now this BIOS should be pretty much the same throughout all of their Z170A motherboards. Obviously with different motherboards, you're gonna have different features, but the overall look and design of the BIOS should be the same. So when you first boot up your system and go into the BIOS, you're gonna be brought to this, which is their easy mode. It should give you all of the information and all of the settings you want to set. If you're sort of like a basic user, you just wanna say XMP profile, or you just wanna change your boot device priorities, all that kind of stuff, you can go ahead and do that. So starting up top here, we have our game boost, and this is our like instant overclocking. What that does is it gives you a little boost on your CPU and all of that, so a little just instant overclocking. Over here, we would have our XMP profile uh, set. You know, you can set your XMP profile. Our memory that we're using doesn't have an XMP profile, so we don't have that option. Over here, we have all of our information. So we have our CPU speed in real time as well as our memory speed in real time. CPU, CPU temperature and motherboard temperatures in real time. Boot device priority, you can see all of the different boot devices that we have options and we can just click and drag them over to select the priority. It's really easy to do. And we have all of our information up here on our motherboard, CPU, memory size, vCore, uh, voltage, DDR4 voltage, BIOS version and BIOS build date. Those are of course are important. You know, if you're updating your BIOS, you're not sure which one you have, you can have that information right here. As we move down over here, we have all of our different tabs. So CPU is gonna give you all of your information on your CPU and your CPU frequency. Your memory here is going to give you your memory, of course, speed and all of that, uh, the size of your memory, all that kind of stuff right here. Storage is gonna show all of your different devices. We can see we have one hard drive installed. Our fan info here will give you information and your fan curves on both your CPU fans. Uh, so you have the two headers and the three system fan headers you have over there. And help just gives you some information um, about all of the different shortcuts and keys and all that stuff. Um, we have mFlash, which allows you to easily flash your BIOS. We have a favorites menu here uh, that you can go ahead and go into and of course set all of these. We have our hardware monitor, which is actually pretty cool. Really nice graphical user interface here. And it shows you all of the information. You can see our voltages down here. You can see our fans up here. Um, it gives you everything you know, that you would want to see for your hardware. We can see our CPU temperature. Uh, we can actually add in our system temperature and you can see the graph updating in real time. It's actually quite cool um, how all this updates in real time in the BIOS. Uh, pretty awesome, actually. Go ahead and close that out. Down here, we can enable and disable things. So we can enable LAN option ROM. We can enable or disable the HD audio controller. You can enable and disable the CPU fan warning control. BIOS log review, the, uh, you can set between ACHI and RAID mode, and of course you can turn fast boot on and off. That's it for easy mode. Um, pretty much all of the options that you would want, you can do. As I always say, the biggest options that you're gonna change as a first time user or pretty much any PC user is you're gonna set your XMP profile and you're going ahead, going to go ahead and set your boot device priority. You can do all of that in your easy mode. And of course, there's a lot of other features that you can set right here. But if you hit F7 or even click up here to advanced mode, we go into advanced mode and you can see it, it has sort of the same design, but it's a little bit different. So we can go into our motherboard settings and it's pretty much the main settings. So we see our system status here. We can go ahead and see all the information on our system. Advanced, this is all of your features like USB, PCI, Super IO, all that stuff is right in here. So anything to do with the board or anything that's on the board is going to be in here. We're not gonna go into all of these because they are pretty much the same on a lot of motherboards. So we're not gonna go into all of that. Our boot, obviously, you can set your boot device configuration, um, your order priorities, all that kind of stuff you can go ahead and set. Um, security, obviously, allows you to set your password and all of that. 
and uh, you can go ahead and save and exit. When you go ahead and save and exit, you can obviously restore your defaults. There's also a boot override here. So um, if you're installing Windows, say from a flash drive or something like that, when you want it to boot the first time, you want it to boot from the flash drive and obviously the second time to go to the hard drive because you don't want to go that constant boot cycle of loading the Windows installation. Um, you have boot override here, which is obviously great to see. Now, if you're gonna be doing any overclocking, it's all going to be here in your overclocking settings. Um, the OC Explore mode, that's how detailed you want to go. We're on normal right now, but of course we can go to expert and it adds more, um, you know, different features that you can enable and disable and of course different settings. Um, this is everything that you're going to want to do to overclock your uh, CPU and memory. It's all in here. Um, very easy to kind of see and go through all of your voltages, all of your different frequencies can be set in here. Um, you can also see your different clock gen features for your Skylake processor. This is really in-depth stuff for overclocking. Um, and of course you can see our advanced DRAM configuration. You can of course configure all of your timings for your memory. Um, all of that, all of your voltages of course. And then you can see your CPU specifications, um, all the information on the CPU and you can see the different technology support that your CPU has. Um, memory Z allows you to see, just see all of the information on your memory. And then we can see our CPU features. These are all the features that are on our processor. So hyper-threading, active processor cores, all that kind of stuff, your different C states, power states, all that stuff can be set right in here. Um, M flash, of course, allows you to go ahead and flash your BIOS. Um, so, you know, again, just load a BIOS on a USB flash drive and you go to M flash and you can easily flash. OC profile, of course, just allows you to load um, different overclocking profiles or save them. So you have six here that you can save. You can load a profile from USB and you can also save a profile to USB as well. Hardware monitor, of course, is the same thing that we saw earlier. It's just, it's, the, it's the exact same thing as the one we saw in the easy mode. So you have all of your information here on your temperatures and voltages as well as CPU fan speed or all your fan speed if you have more than, uh, we only have two here as you can see, but um, all of the fans are right there. And then our board explorer, this is actually pretty cool. So this gives you a full graphical kind of user interface of your entire board and it lets you know all your information. So if we go over here, we can see we have a Intel Core i7-6700 processor or 6700K processor running at four gigahertz. Over here, we can see we have our Micron memory in there. Um, over here, we can kind of go over our graphics card and we can see that we have an NVIDIA graphics card, all that stuff. You can kind of go over and see and see what's connected, see what you have connected. As we hover over our SATA ports, we can see we have our one uh, SATA port in use and it's using a Kingston uh, SSD. All that kind of stuff is actually really cool. Um, just gives you, you know, if you're not sure what's connected or what is what, you can go in here and see all of that. Um, and I believe we have our favorites. You can use our favorites up here. Of course, F12 up top takes a screenshot. And of course, if you wanna go back into that easy mode, you can easily go ahead and do that by hitting F7 or just clicking up there like I did. This BIOS is extremely snappy. It doesn't like, a lot of BIOSes when you go to different things or you go into different menus, sometimes it freezes. This is extremely snappy. While it is a little hard to get used to, um, if you're used to using a different BIOS, everything is where it's supposed to be. It works really well. I haven't had a single issue with it. Um, all around a great BIOS. So this is the MSI Click BIOS 5. It is the BIOS that you're gonna find on pretty much all of MSI's Z170 motherboards. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.